So here we're looking at the function of animal cell organelles. So we're going to use this to do the organelle functions either with the animal cell stage or with the animal cell accordion. You should have already established and set up your initial foldable, and so this is the point where you would start filling them in. We'll start with the outer ring, the cell membrane. This determines what goes in and out of the cell. It offer, also offers protection and support. The cytoplasm, just like with the prokaryotic bacteria cells in the eukaryotic animal cells, the cytoplasm is that goo or jelly, the fluidy structure. It supports and protects the organelles. They kind of float around in it. And it contains some nutrients for cells. A lot of the metabolic or life processes of the cell happen in the cytoplasm. The nuclear membrane is like a cell membrane, except this one's specifically around the nucleus. So it decides what goes into and out of the nucleus. DNA is too large to move through the membrane, but RNA is small enough that it is allowed to leave the membrane. So DNA will always stay in the nucleus and RNA may leave it. The nucleus, of course, directs all cell activities. It is kind of like the brain of the cell, it tells what everybody else what to do. Chromatin is the general form for genetic material. So DNA or chromosomes is chromatin. It contains the instructions for traits. It's that genetic or hereditary information. Within the nucleus, we will also find a small round structure called the nucleolus. This is specifically designed to make ribosomes, which we'll use for other purposes. So the nucleolus makes ribosomes. A ribosome, of course, is what makes proteins. We saw those in our prokaryotic bacteria cell. We're also going to find them in all of our eukaryotic cells. We're gonna use that DNA information to actually build our proteins using the ribosome. Animal cells do have a small vacuole. They help with storage, digestion, and waste removal. They may have water, they may have sugars, they may have waste products. Unlike plants, these are very small. Lysosomes, Basically, it's a small vesicle with enzymes in it that will digest, break down, excess or worn out organelles, food particles, viruses and bacteria that will be engulfed. They'll get broken down. It's basically the disposal or the garbage man of the cell. The smooth endoplasmic reticulum, this will not have any sort of structures on its surface transports proteins and it also transports lipids and carbohydrates. It's especially important in terms of the lipids. It will break down drugs that are found in the cell. It does not contain ribosomes, so it doesn't have any sort of structures on its surface. The rough endoplasmic reticulum transports proteins, it can break down a few drugs, but that's mostly the smooth. It is covered in ribosomes. That's what actually gives it the rough appearance. And because ribosomes make proteins, rough endoplasmic reticulum is really focused on transporting proteins. Mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. This is the one that almost everybody remembers from seventh grade. So this is all about producing energy from sugar through a chemical reaction called cellular respiration. That's something we're going to be covering a little later. It's just you need to be aware of what it is at this point. The Golgi body or Golgi apparatus, both terms are used fairly interchangeably, is where we process and package proteins and lipids. Think of it as kind of the UPS of the cell. It's 
packing up and shipping it out. So it's going to move materials within the cell and out of the cell in small sacks called vesicles. The cytoskeleton is a series of microtubules that provide structure and support to the cell. It's basically like a little tube-like structure, like our physical skeleton supports our entire body. These little tubes form a skeleton, a structure, a support for the cell's body. And then we have the centrioles. These are two star-shaped structures that aid in cell division. They will actually create spindle fibers that help pull chromosomes apart. A lot of people have told me that they think they look like churros.